Hey guys, this is Sneaky Whisper, and I'm gonna show you my thimble collection. Um, I used to collect thimbles, and I haven't in maybe, I don't know, five, six years, but um, I was pretty into it for a while. So I'll start off with showing you this thimble. Um, it's from Charm, Ohio, which is a town. I'm from Ohio um, originally. And Charm is a town um, near a lot of Amish and Mennonite communities. So um, people go there to um, interact, not so much with the Amish communities, obviously, but more with the Mennonite communities because they do have shops and sell handmade things. Um, so this is from Charm. This thimble is from Arizona. Um, my grandmother lives in Arizona still, um, and uh, so did my grandfather before he died. And um, so we would go visit them every once in a while, and um, they would take us to all sorts of um, touristy sort of locations, and so there were frequently thimbles available. I have a few in here that are from Arizona. Um, this one, Rockport. Great. Um, Rockport, um, Massachusetts <clears throat> is a town. Um, I lived for about six years in Beverly, Massachusetts. And um, uh, Rockport was on the same train line. And uh, I only went to Rockport once, I think, but. Um, my stepmother has an aunt who lives up there, and so my parents, I think, got this for me from when they were up there visiting my aunt, uh, my great aunt, my step great aunt. <laughs> okay, get another one in here. Um, Smithsonian Institution. Um, I think my sister gave this to me. It's nice. It's got the little um, cherry blossom. I think this was during the cherry blossom season in Washington, D.C. Um, my sister lives there. She's a lawyer. Let's see. This one uh, doesn't have anything written on it. I think I might have gotten it at like a flea market or an antique store or maybe my mom got it for me. Um, I have a few of those that aren't from anywhere. They're not touristy ones. They're just sort of decorative. <clears throat> um, this is Ellis Island, and I, I think I got this, I think this was a gift, I think maybe my sister got this for me, or someone else in my family, because I've never actually been to Ellis Island. Um, maybe I'll do that sometime. Now that I live here, I might as well go do touristy things. Um, Scotland, I... I think, actually, my sister got this for me, too, even though I have been to Scotland twice, but before I ever went, my sister went, um, with her school, and I, I'm pretty sure she got me this, that trip. The only other thing I can think is that I bought it for myself a couple of years ago, but I, I don't think I did. I think I've had this around for a while. Here's another decorative one that doesn't have any text on it, and I, I don't know where it came from. Again, most of these ones just came from um, flea markets or uh, secondhand stores, you know, antique shops. Um, same with this one. It has this little girl on it who's doing something, I don't know, I've never been able to tell what she's holding or doing. Um, this is a Coco Pelli uh, thimble, also from Arizona. My mom got this for me. Uh, and another Arizona one. It's uh, 
maybe half of these are Arizona thimbles. Um, Amish country, so this was probably from the same trip. It was either the same trip where I got the, the wooden charm thimble, or this might have been from my uh, aunt and uncle or parents when they took a, an, a trip to Amish country without me. Um, Mount Rainier National Park, so that's in Washington, I guess. Um, yeah, my mom got this for me because we went to Washington <clears throat> to visit my aunt, uncle, and cousins, and they went to go climb Mount Rainier, and I was not interested. <laughs> I was like 17, and I was like, no, I'm not going to go hiking, so they went without me, and my mom got me this. I guess she wasn't very bitter about it. Um, this is a really nice one, and it's also one of the one of the first thimbles that I got. And um, this is, I think, from an antique store, and it's got mother of pearl inlay, so it's really nice. Um, but I, I don't remember where exactly it came from. Uh -huh. a great collector, as you can see. Um, this is a Columbus Zoo, so I'm from Columbus, Ohio, and, uh, yeah. This is another Coco Pelli thimble. <laughs> this is where you start to think, okay, really, no, this isn't even, like, moderately functional as a thimble, it's got a sculpture on top. Here's an interesting one, because the bit is on the top, and it's the Seattle Aquarium. So I went there on that trip where I we visited my aunt, uncle, and cousins, and we went to the Seattle Aquarium. We saw the um, octopus that could uh, break through barriers. <laughs> it was in this tank where there was one tank with the octopus in it, and then another tank with some other fish in it, and there was a, like a tube connecting them with um, two doors that had holes in them so the water could flow through, but they were separated so that the octopus wouldn't eat the other fish. And the octopus um, was managing to like unscrew the bolts of the barriers, and he didn't get out, but there was another incident where, I'm pretty sure it was the same octopus, although it may have been a different one, was successfully getting out of his tank, going to the, like, touch pool and eating the fish that were in the touch pool and then climbing back into his tank, and they didn't know who was eating the fish in the touch pool until they set up a hidden camera, so I think that's pretty funny, and we saw that octopus. <clears throat> this is Sanavir Mission in Tucson, Arizona. I've been there a couple times. Um, here is the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I went to Pisa when I was 17. Um, I went on one of those school trips to Europe that went to several countries, and we went to Pisa. Got myself a thimble, I remember it being very hot. Um, another Arizona thimble, this one's cute. Oh yeah, this is from uh, Paris, Tour Eiffel, Sacre Coeur. Um, I also went to Paris on that same trip where we went to the Leaning Tower of Pisa and I got this thimble which is one of my favorites and it has Le Moulin and um, Sacre-Cour, the church 
and the Tour Eiffel. Yeah, it's very nice. This is just a regular Ohio symbol. Um, O-H-I-O. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, 1756 to 1791. On another trip, um, this was about a year or two later when I was 18, I went with the choir that I sang in in high school, and we went to Austria for Mozart's 250th birthday to sing in a festival. And we went to Salzburg, his hometown, and we also went to Vienna, and we went to a few other places. We went to the, the Abbey of Melk, I think it was called, and, um, and stopped at a few other places along the way, but that was a pretty fun trip. Um, although I got sick when I was there, in fact so sick that I had to go to the emergency room, but it ended up being okay. Here's another inlaid one, I don't know where it came from, um, but it's, it's really nice. Um, this is probably the cheapest, 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 the cheapest, silliest one I have because it's clearly just like stamped on there, <laughs> Kentucky Down Under, and it's like the cheapest wooden thimble you can think of. Um, this is from when I was in the sixth grade and we went on a field trip down to Kentucky to go to one of those places that's sort of a cross between a farm and a zoo and they had all um, Australian animals so there was like a wallaby and some kangaroos and I don't remember what I mean probably some giant spiders I don't know um, and Pennsylvania uh, I don't really remember what the story of this symbol is. I mean, I'm from Ohio, and I also have relatives who live in western Pennsylvania, so there's about a million different, like, places or times when I could have received this from a friend or a family member. Um, Here's another thimble that I think is really old in my collection, one of the first ones I got. This is definitely from a, um, from an antique store or something. Um, because it, it is actually a, a real thimble that you would use. And it's teeny tiny. It's very cute. Hey. And then, I guess this is the last one, but, um, this is from Mammoth Cave in Kentucky. It's a big cave, and I remember going down in it. It was really cool. It's one of those ones where there's a huge chamber, and then you can take tours through the smaller, creepier bits. We did one of the pretty tame ones because um, it was a group of like 11 and 12 year olds. Um, but yeah, that was a fun trip, and uh, I mean, as much fun as you can have when you're 12. <laughs> I feel like I did not have a very fun time being 12, as many people probably don't. This one is cool, kind of cool texture. Okay.
remember the last time I counted them, but it looks like there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight thimbles. There it is. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you later. Bye-bye.